The Abstract Man, written by Pacers Nation 16. Her sickness appeared inescapable as it demolished her health. My mother's weakness seemed to exacerbate the illness. The discomforting fact about her sickness was that the doctors had no ability to determine what was causing it. Slowly and gradually, each day, her body would just deteriorate. First, her fingernails began to snap. Then, her hair began to fall out in clumps. And now her skin. Her skin was peeling uncontrollably. It was as if she was being slipped chemo pills. By this time, our house no longer felt like a home. It was just slowly transforming into a hospital. First, she had one caretaker, then two. And now we have five in the house. IV bags are strung around her room, medical supplies are scattered all over the house. My mother's bed has become the only place that she spends her days. In fact, I haven't seen her leave her bed in nearly a week. An inescapable sense of fear slowly invades my family's emotions. My days were spent entirely thinking about my mother and attempting to research what her possible illness could be. I spent much of my time on the internet researching these things. I had a natural thirst for knowledge. And in this case, I decided to research everything I could on the internet. However, I had little luck in discovering any possible disease she may have. I've spent an entire night on the computer, but something just drew my attention elsewhere. As I worked on the computer, my peripherals detected something outside. I shifted my gaze to the window and scanned the area for any abnormalities. I swiftly recognized an obscure figure, standing by a tree in the woods. It was a lanky, bony, dark figure. There was little light escaping the reaches of our home, but the minuscule amount that did just barely illuminated the area around this figure. Whatever it was, it stood just motionless, intently staring at our home. I felt rather unsafe and pushed open the window. Hey! I exclaimed. However, there was just no response. The scrawny figure remained static looking in my direction. I started feeling pretty uncomfortable. It was as if he had some agenda or plan and was standing there waiting for me to sleep so he could execute it. Though it was a tough battle, I somehow managed to get some rest that night. The next morning, I woke up surprised after a terrible dream. The rustled springs of my mattress violently creaked and dust jumped out of my covers as I shot out of bed. It was almost as if I had been suffocated by my covers. I fought through the mess in my bed and then got to the window. Looking outside, there was no longer any sign of that abstract figure. I was filled with relief as my nightmare had been swiftly proven false. The previous evening I dreamt of this figure entering our home. While in the house, he was in my mother's room whispering what sounded like nothing but gibberish. I was eager to discover what I imagined was invalid. The next day didn't really differ from the recent schedule. Being the summer, I spent a majority of my time outside. I ran through the woods exploring and adventuring my way through the tall oak trees. Before I arrived back home, I noticed a peculiar sight. On the ground laid several strands of hair. This looked somewhat odd, but... I kept rummaging through the leaves. I noticed things only grew increasingly strange. Next to the hair laid several teeth. I also found what looked like human flesh. It appears as if the skin of someone's hand had been peeled from the bone and muscle, kind of looking like a glove. The piece of flesh laid on the ground next to other body parts. I returned home just brimming with curiosity. I decided the best way for me to indulge this interest was to research it. I looked up random body parts in the wood and didn't discover much. I continued searching, but much like my mother's illness, I found little explanation. However, this would quickly change. I remembered the disturbing tall dark figure standing outside my house. I decided it couldn't hurt to look it up. The results I found were quite unsettling. If what I found on the internet was the same sight I noticed outside of my house, my family, and I 
were fucked. As I've read through the articles, it stated that the man was a demonic presence attempting to take human form. Through several failed attempts, it may shed flesh or other body parts. It explained why these were mere rejections of the human body. It recognized its demonic form, it explained. However, it may only take full human presence after sucking the life out of a current human. Only then will the parts be accepted by this demonic form. They called this creature the Abstract Man. By this time, I felt disheartened, as soon as I realized the magnitude of the situation. This entity, this thing, was trying to take the position of my mother. Sure enough, as I stood from the computer, I gazed out the window and was greeted by the now unnerving sight of the abstract man. He stood there, almost as if he knew of my newly acquired knowledge. He stared directly at me now somewhat closer than before. His gaze remained unbroken and his face locked onto me. I couldn't make out any human features that he had. No eyes, no nose, no mouth, nothing. The scraggly form was completely devoid of any color or definition. Now feeling really disturbed, I remained in my bed the entire night, worried for when the abstract man would strike. I got up every few hours to consistently check on his presence. At 2 a.m., he was closer. At 3 a.m., he was even closer. At 4 a.m., he was an unnervingly close distance. By this time, I decided that I should alert my parents. I woke them up to tell them about the man standing outside of our house. My father gripped his shotgun and began to walk outside. My mother laid in bed in a deep slumber. As soon as my father pounded the door open, we were both greeted with a pretty surprising sight. Outside, our lawn remained empty of any presence or entity at all. I felt embarrassed. I thought, I don't know, maybe I was seeing things. The following day, my father and mother left for the hospital. Unfortunately, her illness only grew worse. I reserved my belief on her sickness due to the fact that no one would trust such a ridiculous premise. I sat on my computer attempting to search more on the abstract man, discovered more that filled me with this just unsettling feeling. I discovered that this figure tries to destroy any information on itself quickly after taking the form of its host. When my mother came home from the hospital, I was pleasantly surprised. She appeared to have fully recovered. She walked around the kitchen Overcame with joy, I rushed to hug her. I thought after the disappearance of the abstract man, she would easily be able to return to a healthy state. As I entered the room, I received a telephone call. When I picked up the phone, my heart sank. Eerily over the phone, I heard a familiar voice speak to me, sounding pretty weak. It was my mother. She said, Son, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you you. She sounded as if she was fighting for her life. I tried to respond, but I just couldn't. I peered over my shoulder and, standing there, I saw whatever this thing was that now resembled my mother. When it opened its mouth, I heard a sound revolting, nothing like my mother. It uttered shrieks and just stood there staring at me, flourishing with hatred. I looked to the door and tried to dart away. This thing chased me with an inhuman speed and forced me to halt. It snarled in a nasty voice, but I quickly grabbed a nearby kitchen knife. It grabbed my other arm and lunged its face towards my flesh. It was an unsuccessful bite to my limb. I jammed the blade into the creature's neck. It fell on the ground, gurgling on its own blood. It shrieked and struggled around on the ground. This disgusting conjunction of flesh changed its voice into my mother's. It started screaming, Son, help me. Help me, please. I looked back at the being, unable to be tricked by it. I pulled the knife out of its throat and crawled away on all fours. I would have tried to stop it, but it was way too quick for me. As it sped away, it made these horrible croaking noises. As it ran, it still held the form of my mother. That day, my mother died. 
I guess there was only room enough for one of her on this planet, and this creature now occupied that spot. The abstract man can take forms of anything, and still roams the world as my mother. I have no clue of his whereabouts, but, like I said earlier, he will do anything to destroy any information on him, anywhere. As a caution to those who read this or listen to it, I would recommend you check out your window. He knows you know, and he will, no matter what, track you down to rid you of the knowledge of him. If you ever look out your window and see a tall, dark figure standing there, just pack your bags and go. Throw them in the car and get the hell out of wherever you are. If you're lucky, you might evade him. If you aren't, well, then be ready to just give up your body. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my lovely patrons listed on screen. Dan R, Paul Z, Cody V, Chaos X, Mr. Swiston, Official Jerboa, JY, Pyromancer, Hayden MH, Ethan A, Dark Side of the Bear, Daniel H, and Charles P. If you guys enjoy the content and want to support the channel as I make almost nothing off views, you can do so by going over to Patreon.com and looking at all the different tiers. Each one has a little bit of a different bonus to it. Thank you.